Amazon sellers, you are overpaying FBA fees and here is how to fix it. Hey there, Amazon sellers. Today I'm going to show you one simple trick that could save you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in Amazon FBA fees. It's called requesting a cubic scan and it's a game changer for products that might be incorrectly measured in Amazon systems. So let's dive into it. So first of all, what is a cubic scan? Well, before we get into the how-to, let's quickly cover what a cubic scan is. Amazon uses automated systems to measure and weigh your products. So sometimes these measurements can be off, especially for irregularly shaped items. A cubic scan is a manual remeasurement of one of your products by Amazon staff. So this can often result in a more accurate and often lower dimensional measurement, which will absolutely direct your FBA fees. So when do you want to request cubic scan? Well, you should consider requesting a cubic scan if one, your product is irregularly shaped. Think your product is bubble wrap. You suspect the current measurements are inaccurate. You can maybe compare two products that are exactly the same product, maybe a variation. One has a higher FBA fee than the other. Likely one of those is being mismeasured. So if you have multiple uh, ASINs of the same exact product, it's just maybe it's a different flavor or something, you're gonna wanna get that remeasured. Your product could be close to a tier threshold and you want Amazon to double check to make sure you're right in the correct tier. So in my case, I'll be requesting a scan for a sauce, a jar of sauce. Cost is a little different. I'm gonna show you on screen. I have uh, the inventory of one sauce where you can see the FBA fee is $4.99. Total fees are $5.95. And something that's exactly the same size, the FBA fee is $4.55 and the total fees are $5.51. So let's just do the quick math. That's 44 cents a unit. If I'm moving 200 units a month of that, that would be $88 if a month just on that product, about $1,000 a year just on that one ASIN that I'm, I'm off on. So, what are you gonna wanna do is uh, gather information first as your first step. You're gonna need the ASIN, of course, right? You need Amazon to know what you're talking about. And then you're gonna need the current product dimensions and weight, both in Amazon systems and your own measurements, just to understand that. Uh, one place you can go to check the current dimensions between the two is in your inventory. Go to manage inventory, and per product, you wanna click on the right, and then click edit listings. So I have them up here. And on this product, you can see Amazon's package dimensions as 8.78, 14.097, 19.71. And that is the product that I'm getting overcharged on, right? So that's their dimensions. And on the other product, the dimensions that they have are, let's see here, 10.79, And these are in centimeters, and the weight is a little off too, 358 kilograms, and this uh, other product is 372. Same exact product, the weights are off. So let's go to the menu that's gonna allow us to do this. You're gonna wanna go to the main screen, go to help, get help and resources. Now remember, this could change slightly, the UI on Amazon often changes, but uh, you're gonna be able to do this with every product. Click my issues not listed, and all you need to do is type cubic scan in this, okay? And click continue, pretty easy. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is click on the FBA weights and dimensions, and now you're gonna choose the ASIN. So let's go back to that product. I'm gonna get the ASIN. Where is that screen? Okay, so you have the ASIN. I'm gonna put it in there and remeasure and reimburse FBA fee. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do that and click continue. And so it's saying it found multiple SKUs and that's fine. So let me get the right SKU. Uh, this has the FBA inventory. Uh, the SKU is ends in 180, so I'm gonna choose that. And uh, there's the dimensions that they have. So do you have your product's weights and dimensions? You should have them. And uh, let's see, so it's asking for inches. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go to the product page of this because unfortunately the, the thing says centimeters. So what I'm gonna do, I will use these dimensions here. 
Okay, 693-429-425, all right? So let me go back here. 6.93, 4.23, I think, 4.25, right? So let me just double check that. 4.29, 4.25, and 6.35 ounces, all right? And 6.35 ounces, they want it in pounds. See, Amazon does not make it always that easy, right? 6.35 ounces, right? Divided by 16 ounces is 3.96875, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna use that, all right, so. Let me put in the period and hit continue. Enter the information. And so you have these choices. You, you're gonna wanna select the choice that makes the most sense for you. Mine is items measurements have become incorrect. So let's try that and let's hit enter. Mine is in bubble wrap because it's glass. And now I'm gonna request a measurement. And that is how you create the case uh, for the cubic scan. Just threw me a loop with uh, converting cent centimeters to inches and pounds to ounces to fractions to this to that, but that's what you do. Send the case in and within 24 to 48 hours, you're gonna hear back from Amazon. But once the cubic scan is complete, Amazon will update your product dimensions in their system. If the measurements have changed, your FBA fees will automatically be adjusted going forward. As well, as well, you will get a refund for a period of time where they will actually can pretty much overcharge you on those fees. So it's that simple to request a remeasurement. Um, just be ready to have your calculator handy uh, to be able to enter those dimensions correctly. And in my case, I try to review my product portfolio monthly to make sure nothing is off. I look at like products, like sizes, like weights, and if I see any FBA fees that are off, I am requesting those, those remeasurements. You can also even use a product like Sellerboard to notify you when Amazon changes fees or dimensions for any of your products. It actually has an alert on there that it could email you. Uh, you could just check it once a week. Um, this shouldn't really occur that often, but if you have a gigantic portfolio of products, it could occur every day, actually. So you can check out a trial of Sellerboard. Uh, there's a link in the description. It's a free trial if you wanna see how that works. It's got a lot of awesome, amazing other features. So there you have it, a simple process that could potentially save you hundreds if not multiple thousands of dollars a year in FBA fees. So remember, it never hurts to double check your product measurements and request a cubic scan if you suspect you are being overcharged. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Amazon FBA tips and tricks. And thanks for watching. Here's to maximizing your Amazon product.